Okay, it's the next day now. Checking out the circuit again. And lights are nice and bright. Just over 2.4 volts and 41 microamps. So we're better than we had it. Now let's see if we could uh, improve things from here. So now we're going to add this coil. Uh, top to antenna, 1.98 millihenries. Uh, this is one continuous coil. I do have both the coils connected there. Uh, I remember in the past I was playing with that. Mm. Hold on. this little extra coil <laughs> if I just move that to the side you could see the two this coil and the top coil are connected right here so they're in series making one longer coil and this is something I was playing around with at one time by adding this extra little coil hanging on here but we're gonna try that now because we've tried this years back in the past but we never had all this circuitry either. So <clears throat> let's see how this turns out. Now this coil goes over the ground rod. About four to eight inches off of the ground. With the ground rod going through it. And this coil is in series in between the antenna and our very first circuit here. Okay, put our coil on here. <clears throat> and the top of the coil Oops, where'd it go? comes up here to our antenna wire and the bottom of the coil comes out to our antenna wire which of course goes right inside here this is where we're at voltage is rising very slowly but it's still going up I see no current and bulbs are not lit um, we'll see alright I'll come back in a few minutes see how high this rises here and I'm going to experiment with like I mentioned it's only about four inches off of the ground right now I might have to move it up down it's also extremely important to have this ground rod going straight through there uh, stuck to one side of the pipe it's very important that you're not crooked where that end of the pipe is on one side and you know it's got to be all one side very straight and uh So we'll be back in a few minutes and uh, I'll find out the best position on there and see what we get over here. So far it don't look good. But we'll see here. Okay, I got it about 6-8 inches off the ground. Uh, 2.158 volts. I had it to 2.0. 
little th uh, now this the current has all of a sudden been going up slowly but it keeps going up so let me I'll be back in a minute let's see how high that current rises okay it's been about five minutes approximately and that current still going up slowly but it keeps going up I'm expecting to see those lights come on soon we'll see but uh, yeah I'll be back in a minute let's uh, keep waiting here All right, it's been about another five minutes current is still going up but also notice the voltage has slowly been going down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. No lights yet, because now we probably got too low a voltage. Maybe I have to adjust those ferrite rods inside those bucking coils again now that you add more circuitry that could kind of throw off that tuning I'm not sure Ooh. we got a little extra voltage alright I'll be back in a few more minutes oh no <sighs> well I'm back after about 10 more minutes I thought I'd see it way up there Voltage is still decreasing very slow. And my current all just disappeared now. Oh my god. Maybe I'll try this one again. This one did have the same readings as this. That's why I kept using this one. But, oh, what the heck? How could I hit? Oh, wow. All right. Yes, all right, well, let me see something here, too. I'm going to put my hand around the coil right there, and let's see if I could hold this camera here as I stretch down here with my other hand. Oh! Oops. You could see the voltage is rising fast. So, let me think about that a little bit and see if there's some way I could uh, mimic what my hand is doing. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Let me think about that. I need a fake hand. <laughs> Hold on. All right, what I'm going to try is I'm going to wrap a little bit of this aluminum tape around this coil and going to this other little ground rod here. Kind of mimic my hand going around there. And, uh, yeah, well, let's just see what happens. I'm going to put that aluminum tape on now and uh, you can watch what the results are as it happens. Where are we at right now? 1.47. Why is it going up so fast now? <clears throat> I didn't even do anything yet.
What the heck? I just popped my head back in to see what's going on there. Now we're suddenly going up. All right, seems to be steadying out right there, about 1.55 volts. All right, let's add the tape. Going up. Oh, we're getting some activity over here now. This is looking good. We'll see. Hmm. It looks like about it. Uh, still no light. That's about it. I'm going to try to reach around and touch it with my hand again. Oh, where are we? It still makes a big difference. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hang on. Let's see if we could improve that somehow. More around that coil. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we still got our aluminum tape on there. But you, as you can see, I added this fat coil on there, just laying around there. Neither end of that coil is touching anything. Oh, matter of fact, I do want to make sure one end is touching the rod or the tape. But uh, let's see here. Because if I touch, if I still go down there and touch them coils. voltage still rises really fast so yeah let me try to connect one end of that coil to the ground little short ground rod and see if that makes a difference all right I connected one end of that coil to the short grounding rod that the tape is connected to We got more current now. Bulbs are slightly lit, but yeah, we had a lot more current, at least 40 microamps before. Uh, I still got a mimic putting a hand on a coil. What, what, what happens when you touch the coil? Kind of grounding it out. There's some moisture. Our bodies have a voltage. We have a current. We have an electromagnetic field. Uh, so what is exactly happening? How could I mimic my hand around that coil more? The current jumps up too when I do that. Current and voltage both jump up. Well, it's kind of like touching it with a battery, I guess, because our bodies are like a battery. I don't know. Uh, sucking the power from me. <laughs> All right, let me think about this. Hmm. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. 
Actually, that voltage and current reading isn't bad right now. I can't believe this. But I forgot to connect my ground back up after I slid that large coil over everything. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. We should see much better results. Okay, now I got my ground wire back connected. I'm surprised how the heck were we still getting that much voltage, huh? Well, it's a 10 microamp, 11, 12. Why is it jumping up? Huh? No, it's fluctuating a little bit. All right, let me touch that coil out here again. Does make a difference. One more time, touching it. Taking my hand off. Hmm. Yeah. Voltage and the current jump up. All right, let me think about this, guys. All right, I'm still thinking about this. Uh, touching those coils. Our body also has moisture and heat. Hmm. And then it started to make me think maybe I should try adding a barium cylinder on there. Or replace the large coil with the barium cylinder. That's some more experiments. Um, the reason I added that coil is because I've done this in the past, but without the Cockroft Walton multiplier and without the oscillating circuit. So we just had the one small circuit on there. And I'm almost positive I can, with just the one circuit, I can get up to 40 volts. But uh, I don't know if I ever checked the current at that time. It's kind of making me think maybe I should go backwards here and <laughs> tear everything apart. Start from scratch. Uh, well, anyhow, let me keep thinking. Okay, just for the heck of it. I uh, disconnected our load. Uh, we're going to see nothing over here. So without the LEDs, I just want to see how much voltage is coming out of this circuit here. Uh, let that keep rising. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we got about seven and a quarter volts. Again, that's without the load, without the lights on there. So that's just the output of the circuit itself. Uh, let's see. I th let's see if I touch the coils again. goes that's what I thought it's about seven and a half volts and I think it's because of the oscillatory circuit I expect I might have to uh, adjust the poten poten <laughs> the pot the potentiometer or uh, add different uh, resistances in there to change the timing um, yeah, hmm. Let's see what the voltage output is on without that without the oscillatory circuit just coming off the one circuit and through the voltage multiplier. And let's see what kind of readings we get over there. Okay. Now our voltmeter is just coming right off of here. We don't even have this circuit connected, no load. I just wanted to see. About seven and a half volts. Uh, it's fluctuating now. It was going up, now it's going down. Hmm. 
suddenly I'm not liking those coils out there. <clears throat> All right. Let me think. <laughs> okay. I uh, disconnected <clears throat> all the other circuits except for this one. And there's no load or anything on there. So this is 8.6 volts. Uh, now I just tried something very interesting here. That white wire is my ground, okay? Comes right out here, right to my ground wire. Okay, and then the black coaxial cable there. I did coaxial because uh, if I didn't use the coaxial, the frame of my tent my lighting in here it picks up the frequencies from there and this eliminated that but now I'm wondering okay that comes out it's hanging right down there and that goes to the bottom of the coil and the top of the coil is connected to my antenna but what I'm gonna do right now is disconnect this point on the coaxial cable Okay, I'm going to connect this directly to this green one, eliminating the coaxial cable. Okay, and then let's watch what happens. Okay, I'm going to take this red one off the coaxial cable. And there's our circuit hanging right there. Disconnect the green one from the other side. And let's stretch these across to each other, almost. There we go. Now watch the voltage. I cannot let this antenna touch anything. So I'm kind of holding it out of the way right now. But as you can see, huge difference in voltage. Now it's making sense. Without that coil, I would only have like 8 volts. But adding that coil raises it way up. We'll be right back. Okay. Looks like we're right around 24 volts. <clears throat> Dropping down a little bit right now. I don't know why. The way I'm pulling it one way or the other. Now I know I can get that up even higher with adjusting this coil out here on a rod a little bit okay I just removed that other coil I had on there I just got it hanging loosely up there on the ground rod right now but it's not over this other coil 
and the voltage is dropping fast. We're at 24 volts. The difference that one coil made on there. Hmm. Okay, still got that coil off there. Looks like it's uh, relaxing or settling in about 6.9, 6.8 volts. Huh. All right, now let me run this antenna back where we had it on the coaxial and see what happens. Okay, connected the circuit back to our coaxial. Voltage is now rising. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, the troubles I go through. It's still rising. That's strange. I still got that coil off. So what are you telling me? With the coil on there, then it's better to run the antenna not through the coaxial. Oh, we're still going up. I only had like 8 volts when I just checked this the same way just a few minutes ago. No, that was with the coil on. <laughs> oh boy. Really strange. So they tell me right now with this setup, if I move that coil down, I get 8 volts. Right now it's 11 volts. If I connect the antenna wire bypassing the coaxial, then I get like 7 volts. But if we move that coil down and bypass the coaxial, then we get like 20 volts. So it doesn't make sense. If you add the coil, then it's better bypassing the coaxial. If you keep the coil off, it's better running with the coaxial. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite confusing. Oh, now we're dropping down a little bit. What the heck? Why are we suddenly dropping now? Look at that. I didn't do anything. Gonna stop around eight. No, now we're really dropping again. Why such a dramatic difference? Sunlight going behind a cloud? Not really. Because I've always got the most power out of this system on a cloudy day when the sun is not shining. Huh. Yeah, I'm getting really confused here. Like I said, I'd like to repeat an experiment and have the same results. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, let me think about this. If I uh, connect a coaxial right in here, then this voltage will drop down between 3 and 5 volts. It really makes a difference having this coaxial in there. Uh, but if I add the rest of the circuitry on, then it does not matter if I have that coaxial in there or not. I get the same readings. I'm going to see if I get the same results if I just add on a second circuit now, just the uh, voltage multiplier. 
and see if that has uh, two different results with the coaxial in there and or with it running outside my tent here. Uh, okay, let's see how that goes. Okay. Now we went down 8 volts. Added the Cockroft Walton multiplier. Do not have the coaxial cable in there. Let's see what happens when I put the cable in there. See if that goes up or down. It's strange right now that I have a lower voltage reading than I did without the voltage multiplier. So <laughs> nothing seems to make sense. I don't know. All right, uh, let me continue. Okay, same two circuits, but now we got our coaxial hooked in there. And we had over, what, 8 volts? Now we're about 6, 6 and a quarter. So... The coaxial is affecting things and so far we're seeming like these coils only help if I use only a single circuit. If I use the single circuit I gotta keep the coaxial out. Huh. So many things going on I have to think about what where to go next what to try next uh, yeah this is very strange I should keep hooking the load on there and see what the differences are yeah let me think about this guys and we'll be back okay the lights are lit pretty darn bright right now <clears throat> uh, let's see we got just over 2.4 volts and now we're just over 50 microamps bounces around a little bit and uh, I have no coil connected outside anymore I removed all the circuits except for this one Joe Tate circuit or whatever you want to call it voltage multiplier rectifier type circuit here and that's it this is going down to the load and to my meters one ground wire and I'm also leaving this coaxial out of it now. My ground is actually going across my meter right now, but it's going out through this hole that's in my lab here for belt. So at least it's not touching the metal frame. And uh, that's the most current so far. So we're looking pretty good. Um, yeah, everything else, that circuit's removed. Crockroft Walton multipliers removed. All right, guys, we're going to keep going here and thinking about what to try next here. I like that it's only simplified now to this one circuit. But I think that new antenna really helped up there, too. That got us a lot more current. Uh, I'll have to check frequencies. 
think that's the next thing. All right, guys. So what I want to try today, see if we could increase our voltage or amperage through uh, adding this silver plated copper platter. Whoops. <laughs> it's a nice size. So we're going to add that. Okay, my uh, my antenna there, those wooden sticks were really leaning sideways and it's drooping a little bit. So I tightened everything up a little bit. They're laying a lot more uh, horizontal now. So let me show you real quick. Now we got more current here, a little more voltage. Okay, so now I'm going to connect that silver uh, platter, silver plated copper platter. I'm just going to hook it up to the first plate of my collector plates and uh, see what kind of difference we get here. Okay, connected that platter on there. <clears throat> Lights look good. Okay, now let's see. We were at 2.48, 2.49 volts. That's about the same right now. And the current was between 62 and 65 mainly. So, you might have gained a little bit there. Fluctuates too. Okay, so we're having good results. Uh, let me think about what we could do next. Alright, I took the uh, <clears throat> platter back off. It's not that much difference. You know, for just three, four, ten uh, microamps or something. So I just took it off for now. We'll have to try some other things. I'm also thinking about trying some radioactive materials. Uh, until next time, see what else we could do here. <laughs>